We've got another challenge. This boat has come untied. No! We still have no food. I'll throw in the cup. Please don't. I didn't spit in this glass. This is how kombucha scoby looks like. Welcome to Cruising Alba. We invite you to join us on our adventure living off grid and traveling the UK Canal Network. I'm Miles. And I'm Marina. In the last episode, we shared with you our story of how we ended up on the boat. We attempted to run through the sprinklers, found a Victorian watermill, and finished building our planter. Well, it looks pretty grim and miserable today and it might even rain, but we need to go and get water anyway. Locks are easy to operate. They worked by water pressure and human strength. There aren't any motors or pump in these ones. You have to do everything yourself. You steer into the lock, close the gate behind you, open the paddles to empty the water, wait until it's leveled with the water below, and then you can open the gate and be on your way. It takes more than So we just went through three locks to get water and we're very very close but we've got another challenge on the way. This boat has come untied. We took the horn but no one responded so we need to rescue it ourselves. Luckily the owner woke up. He seemed pretty surprised that it happened and he punted the boat back to the towpath. Boat life definitely makes me appreciate simple things in life. I will never take running water for granted. When we learn water, we avoid doing laundry, skip the full showers and pile the dishes in the sink. The boat starts to feel a lot smaller. When we get to a water point, everything changes. For an hour or so, we feel like we are on land. The water seems unlimited. Everything gets cleaned, we indulge in a long shower, do laundry. And sometimes when there isn't a queue, we even spray the outside of the boat. It's really the time when we appreciate having running water. We waited for an hour at a water point and then had to do another lock so we could empty the bins and turn around. This means that we're doing eight locks just to get the essentials today. Life is slow in the canal. It feels like the time slows down as soon as you step off the towpath onto a boat. Narrow boats move very slowly. Remember, our boat is made from steel and it has a whole house inside it. Plus, it takes time to go through locks. So if we walked to the wood point and back, 
the whole journey would have taken less than two hours. And there it was, the spot we left this morning, so glad it's still here for us. We can enjoy this view for a few more weeks. It's 20 past 4, we've just finished our water run, taking us in total of almost 8 hours. We still have no food. Let's get a takeaway. I'll throw you in the cut. You throw me in the cut? Please don't. And I want something cooked for us. Yeah. We'll have to check Dr. Google, see what he's saying. I am going to have my homemade banana bread that I made yesterday and I'm going to have my homemade cheers look down cheers wow it is amazing such a nice drink I knitted this mask I understand that it doesn't protect with the virus, but it helps with not touching your face and not breathing on other people. What I need to do now is to sew this thing onto it. And I'm gonna be doing this while watching my favorite Jet Space Nine. And he's on board this station. I didn't spit in this glass. This is how kombucha scoby looks like. So the way I make kombucha is I produce it in two stages. First it ferments and then there is a second fermentation that I do in a closed lid bottle. The first fermentation has a scoby, the colony of the bacteria that actually produces the drink. However, the second one doesn't have anything in it and it's kind of a miracle how within three or so days it grows into this. The next day, I went to the shop to get some food. The nearest store is about 15 minutes by bike. I get everywhere by bike in London. If I didn't have one, we probably would have to move the boat more often or get taxis. I've been cycling for about 10 years. I can't even imagine not having a bike now. It's just so freeing. Alba has a little bit of water under the floorboards. We emptied every couple of weeks. To be on the safe side, we decided to check if the bathtub is leaking at all. And the water looks clear, so it's definitely not our bathtub. When it's warm outside and the sun is shining, I love spending time on the roof. In my pre-lockdown life, I've never had time to read the actual books. The only way I used to read is by listening to audiobooks while doing something else. But some books you have to read 
and this is definitely one of them. I've done a yoga teacher training, so I try and keep up the learning as much as I can. On Thursdays at 8pm, we take part in Club for Carers and show our appreciation for the work that all of the key workers are doing during these times. We are quite isolated here in the park, so to feel a part of this event, we alternate between clapping and listening to other people on the streets. Oh, the sprinklers are on! During times like this, from time to time, I feel a gripping sense of contraction. But a lot of times I feel normal and quite happy. And I hope that some things are going to get better for us. To be this close to nature day after day is a powerful experience. Boat life is something that teaches me about living in the elements and having more respect for the cycles of nature. Noticing things unfold around us in its usual manner gives me a greater sense of fulfillment and even reassurance, especially after watching sunsets like this. Next week we decorate the boat, have a barbecue on the roof, show what we do with recycling while living on a golf course, and get out in the rain and hail. Something I've never seen before. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please let us know in the comments and give us a thumbs up. See you in the next one.